Today, I'm going to tell you why I brought a Canon 70D in 2020. Hola, I'm Christian and I brought a Canon 70D in 2020. This camera is originally released in 2013 and I've brought a used one. So, let me uh, just get rid of some address. I brought a used Canon 70D for £330 and it should be grade A condition. Why have I brought a Canon 70D? Wow. First, we're going to look at what sort of condition it's come in. So it's used, it should be a grey A. I've brought it from CEX. Um, they're normally fairly good when they say it's grade A, grade B. I want it to be grade A because this is going to get some use. I'm going to obviously replace my Canon 700D, which is broken. Hang on. Canon 700D. Now useless. I've tried to replace the screen on it. Pfft, no joy. I've replaced the screen. I've replaced the chip in the back. So the, the driver effectively. It's effectively a fancy paperweight now. This is, this is gone. I'm not going to use this anymore. But I suppose it's probably a good thing that I'm not going to use it. Because a 70D has dual pixel autofocus. And one of the things this really, really struggled with was on video mode, the constant hunting so the amount of times i do videos and things would be in and out of focus yeah so it was good enough reason to buy a 70d but we're going to have a look at actually if it is a grade a so i'm gonna i'm gonna have a look at it oh, i'm not gonna do a full unboxing because you know, it, it was released in 2013 there's probably a thousand unboxings out there but i'm gonna unwrap it quick see what sort of condition it's in Good. It's in a box, which is a start I'm kind of pleased with. Now, it does say it comes with lens. I ordered just the body only, so I'm not actually expecting the lens to be in here. But who knows? It could be a bonus. Probably not. The most things I'm most worried about, really, it's got original battery because they're expensive to replace. But it's not in a beat up condition. It's overall fairly good. So, let's have a look. Manuals, great. So, we have a Canon charger and cable and USB. We have the amazing Canon strap. Wow, thank you. So, 70D. It's Canon 70D. It's got a lens cap. It's got the cap. It's actually in really, really good condition. Let's see if it switches off. Oh, actually, I didn't even check the battery. So, let's check the battery. Is it a Canon one or is it an update? We have a Canon battery. I'm pretty happy with. Because at 330, you know, it's not loads of money, but it's enough money. And let's have a look. We have power. Wow. Okay. By the way, this is, I would say this is a grade A condition. It's literally hasn't got a mark on it, which I'm really happy about actually. You know, I like my stuff to be nice, and if it gets damaged, I like to be the one that damaged it. My 700D, I, I broke the screen, to be fair. Somehow, I don't know how, I don't know what happened to it, but I broke the screen. You know, this has been the YouTube staple for a long time, and it's cheap. At £330, that's a cheap camera. For the amount of people that have used these for YouTube, I mean, Casey Neistat's been through probably six of these. Yes, I know he uses something else now, but this is reliable. These are great cameras the fact it's weather sealed it's got dual pixel autofocus that that's a winner for me the fact i don't then have to look at loads of other lenses or adapters the fact that i've got a range of lenses that i can just go and buy that beat out the canon m50 for me you know if i want to weather seal an m50 i then need to buy a case you know weather sealed lens weather sealed body i mean i live in england it rains 50% of the time. This is going to go outside. It is going to get wet. The M50, I wouldn't wouldn't want to get it wet, to be honest. You know, And at 350, and the fact that I then have to buy an adapter just to put lenses I've got on it, just baffled my brain. I just thought, why would I want to do that? You're not going to take an M50 to, to Sweden in the snow because it's just going to die. This, you probably would. They're reliable. And for under £350 with a weather sealed body, dual pixel autofocus, I mean, that's hard to beat. I can go and buy an array of lenses for this and I can put them straight on. Don't need an adapter. The M50, when I looked at a used one, which was a B condition, was th was £350 ex exactly, but I would have needed an adapter or I would have had to buy a lens at the same time. You can buy one of these for under £400 with a kit lens. You know, the kit, the kit lenses aren't bad for under £400 to get a camera this good. 
I mean, this is sort of where the dual pixel autofocus started, and that's really what I was after. The fact that I've got dual pixel, it's weather sealed, so when I then get weather sealed lenses, I'm ready to go. The M50 isn't weather sealed. Yes, it's got 4K, but also the dual pixel autofocus doesn't work on the 4K. I can I can get pretty close to 4K with this with the Magic Lantern update, which I probably will have a play with. This is just little why I brought it, and that's why I brought it. I'm not a massive photography buff. I mean to video i like video this does the trick and that dual pixel autofocus on these is just so so good i mean most of the videos i do are from for youtube do they need to be 4k yeah lovely it would be great it's not essential most of it's going to be filmed at 1080p you know upscaled to 4k i mean that's a bargain that's an absolute bargain if i had the money would i go and buy an esr yeah probably for the monetary difference you know I can't justify it. I saw the benefit in a 70D. Yes, there are better cameras that you can buy now, but for under £350, no, probably not. Is it still relevant in 2020? 100%. 100%. Such a good camera. I will let you know how I'm getting on with it. Literally, today is the day I've got it. I've unboxed it. If you're looking for something that's a good camera to start on YouTube, I mean, this is a good camera. I'll do a follow-on video with some footage of me actually using it so you can see what it's like and why I picked it. This is filmed on my phone because I've got a paperweight that's just useless. That's it. If you're thinking of buying a 70D, please let me know what your thoughts are and why you're going to buy a 70D, you know, especially in 2020. They were my reasons. And I think they're really, really good reasons for buying it. You know, if you have any ideas on what I can do with my 700D, which is now just a paperweight, then please let me know. We could paint it or something. We could get it in here. That'd be great. I could dismantle it. Oh, I could dismantle it and I could put it in like on a canvas and lay it all out. Oh, that like almost like a top-down photography, but like on a canvas. That's a great idea. We could do that. You've got any better ideas, do let me know. If you've enjoyed the video, please do subscribe. You know, if you haven't enjoyed the video, don't subscribe. It won't take offense. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You know, that's appreciated. A good comment. If you haven't enjoyed it, do leave me a comment and why you haven't enjoyed it. I always try to make my videos better. And if you can comment and tell me why you haven't, brilliant. That, that's great. I'll appreciate that. That's it for today. And remember, like the sign says behind me, stay lucky.